<laughs> okay, so this camera trap is our third cam type of camera trap and it's our Cognosis camera trap. And uh, it's probably the most intuitive, easy setup. And so we're gonna show you exactly how to set it up today and uh, tell you um, some tips and tricks that we have for the Cognosis setup, right? Anything else? Using uh, the integrated scout system uh, with trigger and flashes. Yeah. Although you can use this setup with other triggers, right? You don't have to use the Cognosis. You you can. It, it's very um, component oriented. Yeah, yeah. You can uh, modular. You can use different triggers. You can use different flashes. You can just use the trigger and not anything else. It's yeah. all modular. So if this is something that you're interested in, in you can like and subscribe and you'll be notified when we make more videos like this So this is our uh, Cognosis trap camera. It's our third trap camera video and uh, our third trap camera setup type. <laughs> and uh, this is probably the easiest, most intuitive one to set up. Yeah, this is using a scout controller. And in this particular case, I have a <clears throat> passive infrared. And everything's still working. You can see you can hear the camera fire, except the flashes are dead, which I knew they would be at this point. Um, the scout system comes in a pelican type case and has a controller that's the brains of everything integrating the camera and the um, trigger and both powered off of a lithium ion battery so the camera is being powered off of this as well using a dummy battery which is really nice and then I actually have three flashes set up here and all of this is controlled by uh, a app from your phone it's all wireless and controlled by an app which is really slick it makes for a easy um, setup and usage. So the Cognosis system comes with different size lens barrels basically that screw onto the front and you can get a protective covering uh, for it which I often throw on here but I also just use um, this plastic that you can get in the plumbing section and basically it's just tightened in uh, on the that barrel so the whole thing can just screw in and out and it just provides a nice little bit of a sun shield um to try and prevent dirt and to stuff provide yeah and rain you from getting on the still line. get some you can see there's some schmutz on that that'll need to be uh, cleaned off but we've we've probably seen that on some of our other trap camera setups as well one of the nice things about this setup too is you can get an Arca Swiss clamp uh, to uh, that the camera will securely fit into. Um, I have to at least with mine have to slide it over to get the card in and out, but uh, that's okay. It's pretty easy, and I can just refocus. Um, but it's it's an easy way to to move the camera in one plane and just keep everything locked down using this, the Arca Swiss clamp. So these are the flashes that come with the system. They're wireless uh, and again can be controlled with the app. Uh, and you can just slip in a lithium ion battery from the front here. This is the same battery. These guys take the same battery that, um, that the controller itself does. So that's nice that they're all using the same battery.
just using bogan super clamps to secure it to a tree in this case and, then we just... and a little ball head cheapo uh, ball head that with a, a plate so you can just quickly pop these flashes on and off if I needed to take it off and I can just push the power button turn it on and uh, you can control it from back here or you can just control it from your app right that's right and what I like to do is label these so because when you you can name them uh, so when you see them show up in your app you'll know which flash you're dealing with so you can see underneath here this is flash six so when I pull it up on my app I'll know flash six is this one when I'm changing the power test firing it and so on so what we have here is that uh, the battery is powering the controller here the scout controller uh, from there there's a, a port right here where you can plug a dummy uh, battery into the camera so that's going up via this cable is going so, up into the to the camera in this so case I'm using a 7d so the dummy battery is actually powering the camera from this because this is powering this and then that correct is connecting there that's right it's getting its power from this battery through the scout so you can get different batteries depending upon different models of camera and then uh, because every camera has a different um, uh, timing in terms of uh, the firing of flashes you have to plug your camera into the controller um, from either a PC port or uh, you can use your hot shoe as well so that the scout knows when the camera is sending the the um, signal to fire the flashes and then the controller will then do that for these other flashes uh, dummy battery powering the camera you have a shutter release cable uh, for the camera uh, that's plugged in the controller so the controller can actually uh, actuate the camera. Take the picture. And then take the picture, that's right. And then because every camera is a little bit different in terms of its timing with flashes, you have to plug uh, a cable from the camera into the controller to let it know when the camera is wanting to fire the flash. That can either be from the hot shoe or I've got it in a... PC uh, sync port uh, on the left there. So top cable here is for the flash um, coming out of the camera flash signal. This middle one is for the sh shutter actuation of the camera and then this bottom one is actually what's powering uh, the camera. So that one little battery is powering both the controller in the box and the camera. That's right. And so then when you you can hit the wireless button here which turns that blue light on the scout system will then send out a wireless signal which you can then use the, the uh, scout app uh, which you can download for uh, iPhones and, uh, and uh, Android phones and it will do a, a scan of all the different devices so right now it's just recognizing the camera I just replaced the uh, uh, the flash batteries uh, here we go yeah so it's starting to pull them up sometimes I do find I have to scan uh, hit the scan button in the app several times to get everything to start pulling up but you got the camera you got the individual flashes so flash one and, two flash one and five or one and five because that's their name or yeah it's interesting this i don't know whether that got reset or i just failed to set it right the first time but that really is my flash labeled flash six over there if i fire it right there you can yeah, so it's can, highlighted blue and then you hit the fire button and it, it, and it tests yeah. and i've got it at a fourth power flash five which is this one over here behind that tree i can fi test fire from Very my good. uh from my app and I have it at a half power. So I oftentimes also have uh, this little USB dongle coming off the side of the camera that I just leave in there in the box. That way I don't have to fish around trying to get something in the right port. And what I use that for, these are 7Ds and so they don't have wireless built in. 
So I just use the Cam Ranger. If you've got a camera that's already got wireless, then you can skip this step. But what's nice is then I can just plug uh, the Cam Ranger into here, turn it on. All this Cam Ranger is doing is just allowing me to communicate with the camera uh, wirelessly. Again, a lot of new cameras uh, have that feature built in. And then I'm just going to use this old iPad to uh, connect to it, and that's useful for being able to, know, like in live view, for focusing. Anyway, uh, to be able to just uh, put it into uh, live view mode so that I can. Um, actually, I think I just took a shot. There we go. So now I've got live view mode, so I can see my scene there. And I can uh, do an easier job of focusing, like I'm moving it in and out of focus, you can see here, so I can, uh, usually I'll put something kind of where, if, it's not, if there's not a specific object there already, like a rock or something, so I can make sure and be focused in the field of view uh, that I'm interested in. I can always look through, but that's hard sometimes with the, uh, look through the viewfinder, but that's hard sometimes with the these boxes open like this uh, so I find this a useful way to do it so you can set the settings on your camera using this app as well um, you can see here I've got 1 1 25th f8 ISO 400 I have my white balance set to to, uh, to flash um, Different camera manufacturers, this is Canon, um, but different cam camera manufacturers um, will have different things, um, different apps that, again, might be native depending upon the, the how new the camera is you're using. Or, again, this Cam Ranger, this is the Cam Ranger app that I'm using that connects to this Cam Ranger that's allowing me to do this. And then we'll just test it then. And we'll test it. Cross our fingers. And cross our fingers for good things that come strolling by. A bear. We want a bear. That would be cool. We got the stick that I left. It. It's working. Okay, so with this system we've got, we're using the Scout Active Infrared Trigger uh, made by Cognizus. Uh, so you've got an infrared beam being transmitted from this device over here, being received by this device uh, on that side. And so it creates a single beam that um, is different from the passive infrared where anything within this broad uh, pie slice of an area gets triggered here. Uh, this will only get triggered when you actually cross uh, the beam. So that walk through, boom, you see the flashes fire and, and it sets it off. That means you can pre focus on a specific uh, point and have a better chance of getting uh, your subject uh, in focus that way. And so this is really great for things like an animal trail, which is what we have right here is uh, an animal trail coming down off the hill. This beam is about a foot off the ground. So as an animal comes down through here, it will hopefully trigger uh, the setup. Okay, so that was our that was a Cognizus setup with both the passive and the active trigger. And so if you have any questions or comments about how we set that up, um, please leave them below and we'd love to answer them for you. This is not a sponsored video, but we do uh, test stuff for Cognizus and uh, we do love them as a company. They're a family owned company. If you would like to uh, order anything from them, we'd love to help you out and uh, create a shopping cart for you that's specific to what your needs are. Um, and we'll also give you a 5% discount on top of it. So uh, if you'd like that, uh, you know, leave comments uh, below. And um, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.